Hello everybody, my name is Lawrence Anthony and in this video I'm going to explain how to get started with FireAnt. Okay, so FireAnt is a, a social media data analysis uh, tool and it also is a Twitter data collection tool. So with this tool you can uh, go and collect social media data from Twitter and then you can load that data into FireAnt and analyze it using various filters. And you can also load in more standard tabular data or JSON data and also analyze that as well. So let's get started. Now you can see here that the tool is just a single file executable and you can just double click on that executable. And what will happen is after about 10 seconds or so, this program will show up uh, like, and it looks like this. Uh, let's maximize the screen so that you can see it more easily. Okay, so uh, if you look at this uh, screen, you'll see then that on the left, we have some input data field, uh, files and you can um, open those there and that's tabular data or uh, JSON data. And on the right, you can see some uh, this input table where you'll see the results of the import. Then you can see here uh, we have uh, a filter uh, area where you can search and uh, find different things in your data. And then finally, we have this uh, output table where you can see the results of your filters. So let me show you an example of using this tool. Okay, so I'm going to go here and open uh, Donald Trump's tweet timeline. Okay, now I collected this using the FireAnt Twitter data collection tool, which I'll explain in a different video. Now you can see here that when we import data, we have these different, uh, we have various uh, filters that we, uh, that we can um, click on. So I can see here created ad. So that's when the tweet, uh, tweet was sent. And we have information about, for example, here, the text, which is the actual tweet content. We have information about the user. So I can go here and I can select, for example, the screen name, which is the uh, name of the person who sent the tweet, and then click OK. And if you do that, then you'll see here that uh, all the data is brought into the FireAnt tool. And we can see created at text, and we can also scroll across and see the screen name, which is real Donald Trump. Okay, so now we've got the data into the tool. What we can now do is uh, filter this data for different things. So I'm going to filter, for example, on text here, and I'm going to filter for tweets that include the word Clinton, because I'm interested in how Donald Trump talks about uh, Hillary Clinton and, uh, see what happens there. So I can now find this data and we can see here 71 tweets uh, include uh, Hillary Clinton in this data. And it, at the moment we're showing only 10 of those. But if I uh, increase this like this, you can see here now we have uh, 71 hits. And um, <clears throat> then we can apply this uh, filter and we can produce an output table with 71 tweets about Clinton. Okay, so that's basically how we import data, filter the data and output the data. And let's now export the data so that we can finally save it and analyze it with some other tools. So the first export is exporting raw filtered data. And when we do that, you can see here that we have uh, a, another window open, and we can choose which data column from the output we want to save. So I'm interested in just the text. So I'm going to click on text, click this arrow for the exported column, and then I'm going to save my data in a file called FireAnt Data, and I'll put here Trump uh, at the end, and then choose Save Location. Then I can open that folder, I can uh, then save the data into that folder. And then if I go to that folder, you can see here then that the data is there and I can open that file. And then here we can see all the tweets from Trump that talk about Clinton. 
So that's how to get started with FireAnt. Thank you.